I hate to be that guy, but you know not everyone can make it in SMMA, right? Like everybody wants to hit 10K a month, financial freedom, take care of family, travel, this, that, the other, but everybody can't make it, right? Like, is there enough room for everybody to make it? Yes, but there's so many reasons that people don't make it. And one of the biggest possible mistakes that you can make is paying attention to only how to make it as opposed to why people fail. And that's what I'm going to get into here, all the reasons that people fail. And there are lots and lots of reasons why people fail. And one of the simplest ones is just the fact that some people try it and they find out it's not for them. It could be that they don't like sales. It could be that they don't like marketing. It could be that they don't want to do lead generation. Um, any of these reasons, people will pretty quickly find out that, hey, this isn't for me. I don't like doing this, whatever the case may be. Um, now, on top of that, right? That's, that's one you know, very common and I guess obvious one uh, as we get, you know, layers deeper and deeper with, um, I guess, more increasingly hidden reasons people fail um, or quit, I guess is another way of putting it. Um, but a- another one that's very, very common as well is people just don't stick things out long enough, right? Um, it's easy to expect a result quickly. You know, you start out, you want to hit 10K a month, with, month within your first three months, um, and then two and a half months go by, you're nowhere near where you thought you were going to be, or maybe you're like, maybe kind of sort of somewhat close. Most people don't even come moderately close to 10K a month in their first three months. And that's just the truth. Uh, it usually takes a long time. It depends how many hours you're working, but it also depends on like what experience, what past experience do you have? Do you already know sales? Do you already know lead generation? Do you already know appointment setting? Um, do you already know how to do whatever service you're going to be providing? If so, you have an advantage. If not, you got to build all of those skills from scratch, and that's going to take you a long period of time. Uh, when I started out, I wish I knew how long it would take to build these skills. Because, you know, I would take 50 sales calls and wonder why I'm not the best salesman in the world. Um, I didn't realize how difficult it actually is to become that good. You have a stack of skills, right? Let's just take sales and appointment setting and lead generation as three. Uh, You have to put hours and hours and hours into all of them to truly learn them, right? It's one thing to copy uh, processes. It's another thing to learn how to come up with original solutions for all three of these things. Uh, to be able to think on your feet on your own without having to lean on anybody else's expertise. But don't get me wrong, leaning on other people's expertise is one of the absolute like smartest things that you can possibly do uh, when starting out in your agency. Um, even you know as you keep growing, I, I've never stopped doing that once I started doing it. Um, I actually have a, a community, kind of like a like a mentorship community type thing. You could say uh, if you're interested in that, you can. Uh, click the link in the description. There's a little more info on that. On that, you can see if that might be something for you. But either way, like I, I really just un- severely underestimated how difficult, or, or you know, how much time needed to be put in to become as good as I wanted to become. You know, all of the uh, I was talking to uh, an agency owner on a call today, and uh, you know, he was like brand new. Um, and basically what I was saying was look like, you know, the, the top sales guys, they've taken 3000 plus sales calls. Like, think about that, right? Like I'm still, I've probably taken 800 or so. I'm still pushing for at least a thousand, at least a thousand, right? Just this year to, to hit a thousand lifetime. I mean, um, but that's what I'm trying to do because I want, I, I know I can still get better at sales. There are diminishing returns past a certain point, yes, but you still also want to stay in touch with the market and so on and so forth, and that's a whole other conversation. But um, one of the you know most common reasons people fail is they underestimate how long uh, things are going to take and how difficult they are going to be to achieve. So if you can understand and accept the fact that it's going to take you a few thousand hours to get really good at this, um, then your expectations are set more appropriately. A lot of people just don't have the right expectations, and I was one of them. And it's because 
how are you supposed to learn that other than having someone like in a YouTube video like this tell you, right? Um, so that's another, again, like another really, really, really common reason people fail. And this idea is survivorship bias, which, you know, if you look it up, there's this whole like uh, war plane example. To explain it really simply, it's just pay attention to why people don't succeed, to why people drop out. A lot of people, a surprising amount of people, as I've climbed the ladder, climbed the ranks, you could say, a surprising amount of people will drop out at 15K a month because they realize like this, I'm good. This is all I want. I don't want to do anything more. I don't want to go bigger. Some people think they want the world, but then they get to 20K a month or 25K a month and they're like, you know what? I'm good. I don't want to scale. I don't want that headache. Or maybe they try to scale and they learn that they don't want that headache. Right? Um, so you can, I guess, predict whether or not you're going to fail by assessing these variables. Um, but until you walk the path, you really need to, um, I guess, again, look at why other people are, are failing in the meantime and asking people who are ahead of you, like, what are the hardships? What are the, what are the worst times that you've been through? Right? And for me, I mean, obviously, you're probably wondering what those were for me. For me, starting out, it was just like being alone, having people doubt me, uh, doubting myself, not really having too much confidence in, in myself to be able to do the thing. Uh, uh, one problem for me was that I didn't believe that rapid growth was even possible. So there was a pretty big mindset block for me as well. Like uh, another thing I said to the same guy today, I was like, yo, like, like, cause he's in school, right? And I was like, keep, you know, keep doing whatever you're doing. Uh, he's not like a client of mine or anything. Um, I was like, keep doing, you know, like go do your thing. But just so you know, like I know people who scale past 10 K a month part time, right? So just saying, I don't know if you believe this to be true or possible or not, but that's possible because when I was starting out, I, my beliefs were all out of whack. So another reason that people fail is, you know, they're shooting to do a thousand dollars a month in the next year. It's like, there, you can do better than that. When I was starting out, I saw 10K as this like massive mountain to climb, uh, 10K a month. But when I finally got there, I was like, man, it was so easy. It was so easy. Like just get a proven appointment, a proven lead gen process, proven appointment setting process, proven sales process, and then make sure you're generating enough leads. Like that's it, right? Um, and, you know, thankfully for me, I have that, you know, inner drive. I have a, a you know, I had a really deep motivation and I, I burned my bridges. I dropped out of school. I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I was fully committed. So I made it work in the end. Uh, so another mistake that people make is they, they don't commit. They, they go in being like, oh, I'm just going to try it and see how it goes. And fair enough. Like, that's totally fine. But if you're going in like that, then be prepared to stop doing it because that's the attitude you're going in with. If you go in, the people who really make it through are the people who go, who go in with an attitude of this is happening. This has to happen. I'm going to make it happen no matter what. Those are the people who really make it through and make it the furthest and who make it to the other side, you could say, right? Um, and, you know, I was talking to uh, a number of years ago, I got a, a job as a sales rep at um, an Amazon ads, uh, Amazon FBA, FBA marketing agency. So they would manage ad campaigns for e-commerce sellers on Amazon for their like Amazon sponsored PPC, pay-per-click ads. Um, I got a job there and I was talking to the CEO about doing my, my own thing and I was kind of conflicted, you know, like what direction I should take. Um, and he was just like, look, man, like the truth is, and this guy's doing like multi, multi seven figures a year for sure, right? Um, and he was saying to me like, look, man, you know, keep your head down. Uh, and, and hopefully you'll make it out the other side because not everybody does. And that's the harsh truth, right? Like um, if you look at the like the average self-employed person's income, it's something like I think like 
40 grand maybe, right? But they're working like 60 hours a week. It's like, you have to fight like a dog to beat that. Um, and if you come in with this lackluster mentality of, oh, you know, we'll see how it goes, whatever, like, or thinking it's going to be easy. I thought it was going to be easy. Wow, was I wrong? Like, it's it can be easy, but there's a lot of complication that comes in uh, that that enters your life when you're learning something. If you look up, it's funny, I have it on my screen, um, the IQ bell curve meme. If you just Google that, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like at the beginning, you have this like really stupid, simple viewpoints on how everything works. Then in the middle of your journey, everything is an absolute mess and it's oh, completely overcomplicated. And then at the end, it's as simple as it was in the beginning, right? But you have all of that experience and all of those lessons learned, um, you know, under your belt, you could say. So, um, you know, if you know that these things are going to happen, right, if you're prepared for these things, then uh, your odds of success go way up. Again, when you look at why people fail and, you know, when you avoid these things. So look out for them. Um, expect it to be a, a long journey, a difficult journey. You know, it takes, if you want to become a, a millionaire from scratch, generally speaking, it'll take you like, you know, five plus years, right? Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, found it valuable, like go to my channel, watch my other videos. Otherwise, click whatever's popping up on screen here and I'll see you there.